I consider myself to be a musician, but uh, with a major thinking from a guitar point of view. Um, uh, then also I'm a producer and I'm a writer. Um, I, I do arranging and I'm also like a musical director in specific productions. From a musical side, it's been a, an industry musical journey. I think uh, one of the uh, interesting artists I've worked with, I think the very first one was a band called Acacia's Band, which is a Malawian band. But what, the reason why I always mention that band is the fact that uh, under the situation, we kind of aspired to create a band that was more professional in terms of how it was run, but also in terms of the repertoire that we could perform, and also just uh, general respect of musicianship and learning more new things, and also understanding more about the business of music. And I think that kind of Akesh has given me the platform to uh, to understand the business of uh, of music. And then I think when I went to South Africa uh, with that knowledge. And when I was a, uh, 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 ch challenged to produce records, because I had that background, and I think that is one band that I was I always remember. But uh, in terms of uh, 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 recent years, I've done some production with Zama Jobis, uh, two records, and I think recently on Huma Segler's record as well. And I think um, one of the highlights also would be to have my own record, Chitukutuku, which allows me, you know, find it also to to, to expose the music of that. I Love and also the music from Malawi. The album is uh, is like a uh, um, it's like a historical recollection of my life and also I think my surroundings. I'd say um, uh, coming from you know staying in Maoni next door to Maketa, then going to school with, um, in Lilongwe for a while, then going to Praise Secondary School, different vibe. Um, as you travel, then eventually you're going to Zimbabwe for college. As you travel around, you know, you, there's always, as a musician, you're always influenced by different, you know, influences, different people that you meet. People, people introduce you to different kind of music, different cultures, and I think all that, as you grow, you know, lingers on. And you, you know, there was a need, I think, for myself to say, look, this is my story of who I am, and I think the only way I can tell it, and it, maybe where it can be understood artistically and maybe yet intellectually as well, is to where you do an album. So the album itself, as much as it's an album, it's also a, a, it's a story about my life. You know? so it's a musical recollection of what Malawi is, what Malawi I remember, and I think the future of what Malawi would be in my vision. Uh, my, my big life in general, I would say it's, it's the biggest highlight. I mean, I'm a boy from Blanta, you know, uh, a normal boy just like anyone else, but I've been blessed to be able to, to be on the stage, same stage with Huma Sekira, to even be able to produce and tell him where to change, what to do and what not to do. Um, I mean, one of my records was nominated for the MTV Europe Awards. Uh, that's his Naoyami record. I mean, from a young boy, just that that's even almost like the biggest achievement. I'll be performing on the 18th of May at the Pretoria State Theatre. And it's like a jazz African uh, night uh, performances. It's something that we do like once a year and this time around the, uh, the main theme is you know African music being exposed to South African audience and I think on the, with the emphasis on Malawian music and Malawian artistry. Uh, so obviously I'll be doing the music from my record but also try to kind of you know get one or two songs that really represent Malawian history, heritage and also what we're all about. But like kind of expose you know Chitukudugu to the world but also try to uh, expose the country in itself from a you know a tourist point of view. Uh, the Malawian uh, Summer Jazz Festival I think uh, one of the uh, the goals that we would like as a team to achieve is to, to basically introduce uh, uh, Malawian music musicians and us, I think Malawian audience to actually the proper standards of jazz music and also to, uh, be it in bringing uh, um, a series of uh, great you know jazz musicians from southern Africa but also to hopefully to incorporate their performances with 
Malawian musicians so that they can share notes but also share knowledge. And um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, in all aspects, be it in terms of the repertoire, the musicians selected to come and perform, and also the technical aspect of the show. So we, we're trying to bring in almost like a historical show you know but also that just doesn't you know come and show off to the people that it's a performance but that leaves a legacy and hope hopefully we can do it maybe yearly as, as years come by well i mean the advice i'd give to young malawian artists is, is, is to say like you gotta be a professional first at home you know if you don't take yourself seriously as a musician or a guitarist or a bass player at home don't ever think that you know you leave this you know this shows and then you're gonna go maybe to UK or to South Africa and all of a sudden you understand the, 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 the business of music. I think you need to learn uh, uh, from here. And I think uh, f uh, mentioning, um, to comment on that, one would then say that we need to make sure that the, the kids that want to be musicians, that they need to be taught as to what being a musician is all about. <laughs> This is Eric Palia and keep on watching Urban Life TV on demand. Peace.